Hey everyone, welcome back to another Jazz Drummer Q-Tip of the Week. My name is Quincy Davis. If you're new, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, and by now, you're probably saying, hey man, that's a, that's a pretty hip t-shirt. Well, it is. And uh, I'll tell you the significance of it. It's actually the throwback name to the school that I currently teach at, the University of North Texas. It used to be called North Texas State University. And the reason I'm wearing it is because we are celebrating 75 years of the program's, the jazz program's existence. Uh, that's a long time, right? Um, and actually, it was the first jazz program in the world where you could earn a jazz degree. So it's a pretty significant uh, occasion right now. And as a result, we're celebrating with jam sessions, with concerts, um, with all kinds of things, with uh, brunches, and alumni from all over the world who went to the school back in the 2000s, the 90s, 80s, 70s, even all the way back to the 60s, have come back to celebrate. So that's why I'm wearing this T-shirt. And, of course, if you're interested in the school or just learning more about what we do, you can visit the website. Um, I'll make sure to put the link down below. Okay, so this lesson, today I'm going to be breaking down and showing you Four dope Tony Williams licks. If you don't know Tony Williams, you got to do your homework. He's one of our greatest innovators of this instrument and of the music. So you got to check him out, and hopefully this will inspire you to get deeper into his playing. Check out all the bands that he played with. It, the list is long. Of course, uh, most of you, if not all of you, will know uh, probably what the the gig or the band that kind of put him on the map which is his work with Miles Davis. So, But today, we're going to deal with four dope Tony Williams licks, and I'm telling you, these are great. There's so many different ways to play them. So I'm going to break them down, but I need to know, are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. The Blushta. Yes, it's Tony. It's Tony who created this incredible rudiment. Though I don't think he created the rudiment necessarily, but the way he played it on and applied it to the drum set, that's Tony all day, all night, okay? And everyone's playing that now. But remember, it came from Tony. So it's not that hard. It sounds really cool, but it's not that hard. That's what I love about it. Um, I'll break it down first just on the snare drum, okay? So... And I'll break up my hands. Okay. That's it. That's the blush step. And you speed it up. Put it on the snare drum. So one of the keys with this is the left hand. That's where it gets that kind of, um, I don't know, swaggy kind of cool laid back, uh, delayed kind of feeling. It comes from the left hand. All the notes are kind of accented and you can even use the rim. I'll show you how to apply it um, in the way that Tony played it. So and you can kind of draw out, draw out some of those notes. Okay, so Okay, and often the cool thing about what Tony did or how he used it is that he started on the snare drum with the drag in the middle. So that's kind of how he started it. So it kind of gives a different effect when you when you listen to it in context. I'll play it in context. So I'm gonna do it again, don't worry. One, two. One, two, three, four. Okay. And I'll do it a little faster now. One, two, one, two, three, four. You see how it kind of starts on the snare drum? And it kind of has this like ripping effect. And you can hear how I'm using the, the rim, too. You don't have to use the rim, but it, 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 it kind of adds a little more flair to it. And 
as I said, if you want to draw it out, you can kind of um, expand those middle notes a little bit to give it a little more swag, a little more attitude, feelings, feelings, nothing more than feelings. <laughs> Bless you. Have fun. Hey, by the way, I want to make sure you know I have an ebook of 158 plus bebop vocabulary phrases that you can download using the link down below. I'll make sure the link is down below. And many drummers have found it helpful in developing um, your vocabulary and just adding to your overall solo language. So I encourage you to check that out if you're trying to up your game and level up your your soul. Okay, so this next dope Tony Williams lick is just Swiss Army triplets, but it's how he orchestrated them. With any of these licks, they're all coming from rudiments. So if you don't know the rudiment that the lick or the phrase is based on, then you need, need to kind of just deal with the rudiment on the snare drum or drum pad first before trying to apply it to the kit. Okay, so Swiss Army triplets. You notice how I'm kind of finding some separation moments? That's on purpose. Just exploring kind of the, the different ways of playing it um, and finding more feeling in it. Okay, so you can just move it around. Ah, there's a Tonyism. So that's something that he, that's how he would play it sometimes. Ah. Right? He would also separate the hands, hands with it. So he would go. Right. Oh. Right. Oh. So there's so many different things you can do with it, but they're all it's all based on Swiss Army triplets. OK, so this next Tony Williams lick uh, comes from the album Nefertiti. It's kind of more of a textural rudiment. Um, I don't know if there's really a name for it, but all it is is... is <laughs> right? And it seems real basic, but it's how he plays it that makes it sound really cool. So... You hear it? You hear it? I'll play it again, maybe uh, uh, faster. Right? And you notice how, like I said, it kind of creates more of a texture. Even though I'm playing pretty strong, it's, it's about the texture more than the rhythm. Okay, so if I had to break it down on, on one drum. Wow. And it's like a flam with the buzz. Right? And you can just move that all around. Okay? Um, there's another variation I should share with you, which is just, um, it's pr this is a little tricky, but you can get it. Um, all it is is... A so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Right? But the trick is that you're going to buzz the left hand. Right? So. Uh. 
right. Woo! And then you can combine it with the other one. Oh. Right, so this last one is so great. It's so fun to play, um, and it requires a little bit of coordination, but it's not overly complicated. And all it is is, right, you take one grid, let's just say eighth notes for now, right, and you disperse it on the cymbals. But every time you play a cymbal, you're going to hit the bass drum as well, right? So. Go backwards. Right? And there's no necessary there's not necessarily a pattern uh, that you need to follow. It's just about whatever you're feeling, however you want to kind of disperse those those uh, that grid, those eighth notes, or it can be triplets as well, right? Um, and he when he plays it, he plays it as triplets, eighths, um, even sixteenth notes. He can bl play it really fast. I can't play it quite that fast, but it's more the effect anyway. So I'll, I'll just kind of demonstrate how you can use it. Oh. Okay. And as I said, it's not it's it's less about the speed and more about the effect. It's a really cool sound to just couple all both crash crashes using the ride some of the crash, um, or you can have a, another crash, but. Uh, coupling that the cymbals with the bass drum every time you play and it's just kind of fun it's a nice workout it actually would be a really great way to just work on your your coordination uh, with your hands and your feet okay so so again breaking it down Okay. All right. So there you have it. Four dope Tony Williams licks that you can go crazy with. Learn them the way he played them. Right. And go to the recordings. Don't just end with this video. Um, check him out and listen to him doing it and watch the videos of, of him playing it. Then come up with your own way of doing it. OK. Have fun with them. Explore. And you might discover and find some new ways of playing them that don't even sound like the original way. That's actually the fun of of learning some of these these phrases and licks okay so have fun with those check out tony williams both old 60s 70s 80s and even the 90s check it check it all out he's such an amazing innovator amazing drummer that we all need a little bit at least a little bit of okay so have fun and as always practice hard but practice smart okay <laughs> take care bye-bye